you know, it's been a while since the guys that worked on our front wall and gate have been here. They had another big job in uh, Bulacan, Bulacan, and uh, the rain <clears throat> every day. They just didn't get much done day to day, and so it went a lot longer than they had expected. Uh, but they finished that up last week and uh, purchased the materials they need to come over and uh, start back on this job. And, uh, and we've actually added some some things to it. So I kind of want to go over those with you today real quick. Uh, one of the things that we're doing is we're, uh, we're skim coating. So this wall that uh, several of y'all commented how ugly it was. And I totally agreed with you, but this is what the builder, this is all I got with the money I paid my builder. So um, the guys doing the front wall said, hey, you know, uh, Mr. Rick, we can, we can do that for you. And uh, gave me a price, super reasonable. So I said, yeah, let's add it on. So they're gonna be skim coating this. They're gonna make it just as smooth as the house is. And then they're gonna paint it same color as the house. That uh, it's kind of that slate gray. Uh, and they're doing that all the way around, including the wall that they built. So all of that's gonna get done. Also, they're going to be completing the tubular up at the top of the wall. Uh, there's some tubular to be painted once they get done. You can see them there. They're literally cutting each piece and they're fabricating it right here on the spot. And um, so that's going to be getting done. Also, uh, this is not completed yet. They just, you know, they just got it up for me so I could have some, some security. And... Uh, so they're going to come back in here, um, hit another coat of primer, redo some of these closures that they did. They did so fast, make those more durable and easier to use. And also um, paint all of the metal and, uh, and while protecting the wood, of course. And then uh, there's one other thing that's going to happen um, on the side walls, but I don't want to talk about it just yet. So I want them to get some of it up and uh, I'll let you see it. Maybe I've already talked about it, I don't know. You know how my memory goes. Uh, but it's going to add another level of privacy to, for us. As it is right now, everybody that comes down the road, um, and they're all, you know, they're nice people, joy waving at them and everything, but after a while, when you're sitting there at your kitchen island and having breakfast and coffee, and or you're laying out by your pool, or you're going from one room to another, and my whole back of my house opens up uh, so you can see in it and it's just so happens that everybody that drives down our road can too <laughs> so um, it's been it was kind of interesting at first but now we'd, we'd like to have just a little bit of privacy so we're adding another element and it's also going to give us another element of, of, of uh, natural architecture to our house you know our house is super modern and uh, wasn't really allowed to it would have been uh, apparently more costly for me to add with the builder any ar uh, natural architectural type pieces. So now I'm doing them as I can in different projects. So you're going to get to see that too. I think it's it's just an idea I had. I, I talked it over with Fernan and his crew. They liked it. So they're going to do it. And uh, I'm hoping it turns out really cool. We're also going to get on our back wall, we have an opening with stairs that go down to the back of the property. Uh, they're gonna be putting a gate on that as well. And they're gonna be building me a more permanent gate for the um, all the concrete posts that they put up around our property perimeter. They're going to be building a more permanent gate for that side piece, other than just, you know, hanging hog wire over a nail. Um, we've got some other projects I'm talking about with him. Of course, they're down the road as I, as I can save money to do those but everything we're doing I think is just going to add even more and more to our home and then once they're done with all the wall stuff here that's really when I hope to start doing some landscaping and I know that that's seriously needed uh, at this property so we'll start doing some of that but I just wanted to get them you know get their their stuff done because they're all over the front yard and it just it would be a hassle for everybody and, and potentially even damaging to any work that I did do on the yard. So I'm just forgetting about yard work for now. We're just keeping weeds and what grass is growing cut down. And um, once they're done, we'll get out here and we'll start doing some 
I kind of want to make it a more of a tropical jungle type in the front. I just, I've always liked that. I, I hope I can do it. I hope I can pull it off. We'll see. Okay, guys, it's day two of what I'm going to call the Build That Wall Improvement Day. Oh, don't look at my, uh, don't look at my sweat towels. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, they're getting this uh, skim coat. This is called skim coating. Um, I'll even show you the bag right here. That's the bag. And it says skim coat. And they are going to match the texture of the house. So this, this part of the wall only has one coat. I can see it's still a little rough. But if you could see this, I, which with the shading, I don't know that you can, but this has got a second coat on it, and it's just as smooth now as the house. Um, so they're doing that all the way around the property um, today. Also, let's come over here. Uh, they are steadily working on what they call the grills, which are the parts that go up at the top of the wall. Um, and they are building those on the spot. Kind of show you these guys at work. Hey. Hello, Hello sir. Morning. So you can see they got one up, got another one ready to go up. This is what goes up at the top of the wall up here. And those will be painted black, a black enamel. You can see they're doing all the skim coating, getting it nice and smooth, getting it ready for paint. Been working on different sections and all the way down to the other end down there. So eventually this is all this will all be completed skim coating. I, I got a feeling that's gonna probably be today that they get the skim coating done. To include the the back of the carport there as well. So yeah. Lots going on here today. Uh, there's another little thing I talked to you. I actually kind of alluded to yesterday, but I didn't didn't tell you what it was And I'm not going to until they actually start because it's gonna add, give us another added Natural element and some privacy to our home. Hey guys. Good morning So I'm gonna give you a little quick update. Well, you know how I say quick and it's not always quick but uh, before I do just wanted to give you a little bit of shot of the property. We are trying to reshape some of these um, terraced walls that got tore up by the construction crew when they pulled dirt from these areas uh, for fill for the house. So we've been busy trying to redo some of this, uh, but you can see we got one heck of a rain last night. Um, it rained for hours, jeez. Anyway, a lot of water today. Uh, we're also tilling up. We've started tilling these three pods here. One, two, three. Because um, I'm hoping in the next few weeks if we can get some a break from the rain, uh, maybe I'll be able to get some rows in here and uh, start planting, uh, yeah, a garden. So pretty excited about that. Let's go out here to the front and uh, take a look at what's going on with the wall because that's really the purpose of this video is to update you on our wall um, I also included the installation of some mirrors the company that installed the mirrors um, is actually here today to take some measurements for uh, screens we we were told by our builder that uh, or by the uh, project manager of this of our home build that the windows that they put in were not able to have screens <clears throat> uh, turns out that's not true uh, Vanda this company that did my mirrors says they do screens for these type of windows all the time so uh, I'm pretty excited about that what we basically have to do is that when the Sun goes down we have to shut all of our windows because uh, the bugs being out here in the province, there's you know a lot of bugs in the countryside. Uh, they're attracted to the light inside the house. 
and we end up with a house full of bugs. And then the geckos come in, they, they want to eat the bugs. <laughs> so <laughs> we have a lot of activity uh, if, that, if that happens. So we've started just shutting all of our windows uh, at sundown, which is fine, except there's some really good air out here uh, this time of year um, at night, and we're not getting to take part in that uh, and benefit from that. So we are looking at uh, screens for not only our windows, but also for our sliding doors. And uh, um, there are periodically, uh, we have a, a poultry, facility that's probably about if i had to guess as a crow flies probably about six to seven kilometers from here and when they do their activity once every so often uh the flies get uh, get kind of crazy too as well i know you've seen videos with fly strips hanging in my doors that's because we we get these periods of time where we get a lot of flies so uh the screens will go a long way to stopping a lot of that so i'm, I'm curious to know what it's going to cost us um, and uh, I'll go over all that here at the end of this vlog, the cost of our mirrors, uh, what these screens are going to cost. I most likely won't include the screen installation or anything with this video, but I uh, just wanted to update you also really on the wall. The guys came back. Uh, they had done the skim coating, and uh, as, you, as you saw in earlier segments, um, they got the uh, tubular on, they got paint on, um, they've now come back to top off the columns because the columns were not finished. So they've topped off the columns. They got to let that dry for a few days. They'll be back to skim coat and paint that. And, um, so they're just kind of doing some final touches on this, uh, this wall and they'll get it all cleaned up. They're going to be another coat of paint going here eventually. Um, just kind of wanted to show you how that turned out, but here's the surprise I alluded to earlier. We have devised a design to add a little natural element to the house and, and give us a little privacy. Uh, this perimeter wall is very short. Uh, so Fern and his team have uh, designed this framework and have installed what's called bolo, bamboo basically. Um, the purpose being just to give us some privacy on the sides of our property because everybody going down the road can look into our home basically <laughs> and uh so this this will give us a little bit more privacy uh, at our house and it also adds like i said a little natural element now they've they're they're still installing the vertical and the frames for these and then also putting the bolo in uh, they're going to do one side here we're going to see how it goes as far as how it holds up to any wind they'll come in they'll paint they'll prime do everything they need to do to finish up. They're going to put a stain coat once the bolo dries out. Put a, uh, a clear coat on the bolo. Help it last longer and look look even better. But this whole side is going to have this, uh, what I call a privacy screen of bolo. And then they're going to come over and they're going to do so. If this side works out, they're going to come over and do this side as well. Um, so kind of looking forward to all that getting completed and uh getting finished so i don't know that i'll probably upload this video uh, before that happens matter of fact this may be the last take i do on it because uh, it's going to be several days before the tops of those columns are dry before they can skim paint but some point down the road another vlog another update i'll show you the, the final finished product um some projects i'm looking at getting pricing on um would be to convert the gate to an automated gate. Uh, and I have found a company in Ponga Sanan that does that. They've sent me a, a quote that I think is very reasonable, but it'll have to be in the line of projects because you know, you gotta have money <laughs> to be able to do some of these things. But there, my plan there is to convert this double gate to a um, single sliding gate. And they've, they've got the ability to do that. You're hearing music coming back from the funeral. They had a funeral that goes, we have funerals that cut, come in front of our house because the cemetery is down the road. And uh, they love to play music going down there. It's, it's interesting. Um, they had a band in this one today. It's kind of cool. Um, another thing we're gonna be uh, doing in the future, I'll just kind of allude to is um, uh, another storage. I just don't have enough storage in my pump room 
um, with all the equipment <clears throat> stuff that's in there, the water filtration, water pump, pressure tank, pool filter, pool pump, solar system, CCTV, all that stuff in there doesn't leave me with a lot of room to uh, for, for storage. So uh, I do have another area uh, that Fernan has given, it's going to be giving me a price on helping me build a storage um, that'll look like the rest of the house. It'll be identical to to the look that we have here. So um, that's a future project that we're going to we're going to look at doing. So I just kind of wanted to touch base on a few things, let you see the wall where it is right now. And um, yeah, hope, you, uh, hope you've enjoyed seeing all this come together. I know I uh, am excited at every little thing we're able to do uh, to improve. It, it uh, just makes it just a little bit nicer. And privacy was something we were really shooting for on this one. So um, I, think we, I think we've achieved it. So. I'll let you go. You guys have a great day. The good. The bad. The Philippines.